Hey there, John Morris here, johnmorrisonline.com. Welcome back to another episode of The John Morris Show. So yesterday we talked about turning points. Well, here's another one for you. It's that moment when you look at everything that you've learned and you start to think, hmm, I think maybe I could seriously make money doing this. I could make my living. This could be how I make my living. And when that happens, excitement, fear, uncertainty, it all kind of rushes through you because you have this kind of grand vision of what's possible, but you're still probably not quite sure if you can make it all happen, if you can really do all this as your full-time living. And one of the big questions in that moment that you'll have is, do I know enough? Can I build the kind of professional applications that clients want that they'll pay for? And having done this professionally for seven plus years now, having worked from home uh, solely for seven plus years now, let me give you a little bit of insight into that. One of the things that I think developers get caught up, caught up on, and I've talked about this before, but is is the fancy And it's not really about the fancy. It's not about the sizzle. It's about the steak. So what matters isn't knowing how to write some obscure routine like the the Facebook algorithm that you saw on the social network. I know a lot of people, I know me, I'll just speak for myself when I saw that as an aspiring coder. You know, that was, oh, I want to develop something like that. I want to do something like that, right? But it's really not about that. It's about executing on fundamentals. Now, as an example, one of those big fundamentals, probably the biggest, in my opinion, is databases. Because these days, professional websites are database-driven websites, the client, the kind that clients will folk, fork over money for. It's what Facebook is. It's what Twitter is. It's what Google is. If you were around in the early part of the internet, database-driven websites for a while was kind of the buzzword. And that's where a lot of these sites came from. Now, we call them, uh, the buzzword now is a social network. But underneath that, they're really database-driven websites. So database-driven was the first kind of iteration, and then it kind of branched off into more nuanced things like social network, uh, you know, uh, CMS, blog, etc. But they're all at their core, database-driven websites. In fact, all the huge sites out there pretty much are database-driven. So if you want to step into that realm of being a professional developer, if you want to answer that question, do I know enough? Can I do this for a living? Will clients pay me for this? Then the way to, the thing that is pretty much required for you to be able to do that is to be able to build database-driven websites. And in order to do that, you need to know MySQL. So again, the, the way for you to answer that question, to get rid of that fear, is to be very familiar with how to build a website based around MySQL or a database, et cetera. Right? That's the kind of stuff, it's the it's the foundation of all this really fancy quote unquote stuff out there. And it's when you can build that sort of thing, again, you you can be rest assured that clients will pay you for what you do. And again, it's not about the fancy, it's about the fundamentals, getting the fundamentals of MySQL and being able to do them very, very well and do them on a regular basis, very efficiently, knowing how to build not only the code to interact with MySQL, but actually how to look at an uh, an idea for an application to break it down into an object model. From that, to create a data model to to build your 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 database based off of that, and then from there, being able to you know write your code in the most efficient way so that. Uh, it's scalable, it's flexible, the application can grow, and you're not having to constantly go back to your database or to your code and, and completely rework it, all of that sort of stuff, right? That's what pro developers can do that people who maybe aren't professional yet can't. So again, if you really want to get into the the serious side of this, of of doing this as you're living, 
that's what you need to learn. Now, again, one quick way that you can learn how to do that is module three of my PHP 101 course, because it is all about database. Of course, we go through CRUD, we go through prepared statements, we go through database classes, but we also go through object modeling. We go through data modeling. I show you how to take an application that you're thinking of building or maybe a client has proposed to you and how to break that down into different objects and build an object model from that and then translate that into a data model so you can build your database. And, and I talk about the three different kinds of databases that basically every application has. And there's really most applications can be built with just those three. So if you know those three types of, of database tables, then you can build pretty much any application out there. So we, we talk about that. And of course, I show you how to do all of this in both MySQLi and PDO. So no matter what the database you need to interact with is, you can use PDO and you'll be able to do that. So if you're ready to, to really dive into this, to get serious about this and learn databasing inside PHP, then this is, in my not so humble opinion, the best way to do it. And again, right now you can get all three modules for just 20 bucks off the normal fee. So that link is johnmorrisonline.com slash special. This is a limited time thing. It's going to end probably around sometime around the end of this month, maybe the 30th or whatever. Uh, I'll get more specific on that as we get close to that date, but it is a limited time offer. So if you want in, you need to jump in now. Again, the link is johnmorrisonline.com slash special. But whatever you do, dive into this database thing, understand that that's what you need to, to be able to do to be a professional developer to do this for a living. You need to be a master of those fundamentals. All right, that'll do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll talk to you next time.